Yo guys, what is going on? It is Mr. DGM here and welcome to a brand new series on my channel called Would You Rather? Now I'm sure at some stage in your life you've probably played this game or at least heard of it, but just in case you haven't, I'm quickly going to explain it. So you asked a question with multiple choice answers and you've just got to pick the answer that you would rather do. So for example, who would you rather have in your ultimate team, Cristiano Ronaldo or Lionel Messi? So for me, I would rather have Ronaldo, so that's who I would pick. So it is a pretty simple and easy thing to understand. So I have been getting a lot of questions from you guys asking me which players I would pick to put into my ultimate team. So that's kind of what this series is going to be about. Comments from you guys asking me which players I would pick and I'm going to tell you who, of course, I would want in my team. And you guys will be able to play along by voting in the poll which players you would rather have in your ultimate team. So we are going to jump straight into our first comment and it comes from Joseph Bowden who says Who would you rather have? Sergio Aguero, Romelu Lukaku or Harry Kane? So three of the best BPL strikers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what these players strengths and weaknesses are and then I'm going to conclude with which player I would rather have in my ultimate team. So we are going to start off with the 89 rated Sergio Aguero. Now what does Aguero bring to the table? What are some of his strengths in comparison to Harry Kane and Lukaku? So the first stat that does stand out is this man's dribbling. He is a hell of a lot better at dribbling than Kane and Lukaku, which is a definitely a huge strength in Aguero's favour. Now in comparison to Harry Kane, he's definitely a lot quicker. And in comparison to Romelu Lukaku, I would say he is more clinical in front of goal. So Sergio Aguero's definitely got quite a few strengths over the other two forwards. So what are some of Sergio Aguero's weaknesses compared to Harry Kane and Lukaku? Now, Harry Kane and Lukaku are definitely two players you can use to bully defenders and use their strength and power. But I don't feel Aguero has got that. He can't play that style of play. So if you are looking for a big target man that's going to hold up the ball and bring others into play, I don't think Aguero is the man that you're going to be looking for. So we are moving on to the 89 rated Harry Kane. So what does Kane bring to the table? What are his big strengths in comparison to the other two forwards? Now in my mind, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Harry Kane is the most clinical in front of goal out of the three forwards, which is a huge strength in my opinion, because if you think about fundamentally what you want your strikers to do, it is score goals, and in my opinion, Harry Kane is the best at doing that when he gets the opportunity. Now, another big strength in Kane's locker, really, is the fact that he is the cheapest striker out of the three. So if you did go with Kane, you would be able to upgrade a few other players in your team. So what are some of Harry Kane's weaknesses? Now, the first weakness that does stand out, of course, is his lack of pace. I do believe that Lukaku and Aguero can both play the role of getting in behind. And, of course, I don't think Kane can do that, which is a huge weakness to his game. And in comparison to Sergio Aguero, he's definitely not as good of a dribbler. So we're moving on to Romelu Lukaku now. What are some of Lukaku's big strengths? Now, his main strength is his strength. He's so strong and powerful. And to complement that, he is pretty quick once he gets going, having 90 sprint speed in-game. So having strength and pace is definitely a big factor in Lukaku's game and definitely something that he has over the other two forwards, in my opinion. So we're moving on to some of Lukaku's weaknesses in game. I don't believe he is as clinical in front of goal in comparison to Aguero and to Harry Kane. However, I do think this guy is pretty clinical in front of goal as strikers go. So I am now going to summarise for you guys and tell you who I would rather have on my ultimate team. So I'm going to rule out one striker straight away and that is going to be Harry Kane. Unfortunately for him, I just think his lack of pace just is a huge weakness to his game in comparison to the other two forwards. So it's a head-to-head -head battle between Aguero and Lukaku. Now I do believe Aguero does bring that extra bit of agility with his dribbling and he is slightly more clinical in front of goal than Lukaku. But I do believe Lukaku brings that extra bit of pace and power to the game. So for me, the player that I would rather have on my ultimate team is Romelu Lukaku. I just think he's the most complete forward out of the three. He's got the pace, he's got the shooting, he's got the physicality. It's three of the biggest combinations. So for that reason, I would rather have Lukaku in my ultimate team. So guys, you will now be able to vote in the poll who would you rather have, Aguero, Kane or Lukaku. I'm going to be very interested to see 
which player you pick as the best player to pick. So we are moving on to the next comment and it comes from Cad Clumbertson who says, would you rather have Hyung Min Son or Anthony Martial? Now this one just hurts your brain whenever you think about it because these two players are two of the most overpowered players on the game. But I am going to try and dissect this and tell you who I think is the better player and who I would rather pick on Ultimate Team. So we are going to start off with the 84 rated Hyung Min Son. So what are some of Son's big strengths in comparison to Anthony Martial? Now I think Son's such a great goal scoring winger, he always seems to find himself in the right position at the right time. Now I do believe this guy is a bit more of a creative player and can create more chances for the team than Martial. I think he'll offer you more assists over the long run. Uh, so that is quite a big strength in itself. And I do think he is a little bit more versatile than Martial. I think he can definitely play in quite a few positions. In particular, I think he's a great cam on this game because he's got really good long shots in game. So we're moving on to some of Hyung Min Son's weaknesses now. Now in comparison to Martial, he's not quite as quick and he's not quite as physical in game, which is quite a big factor really in my decision of who is the better player. And I do believe his link ability is quite a big of an issue because his nation's not great for linking him into good hybrids and squad builders. So we are moving on to the 83 rated Anthony Martial. So what are some of Martial's biggest strengths? Now in comparison to Hyung Min Son, he is a little bit quicker and he is a little bit more strong and powerful. I would say his dribbling is slightly better in game as well. Do I think he's a better finisher than Hyung Min Son? Now this one's a really difficult one for me because Son's stats would suggest that he is more clinical in front of goal. But I really can't decide because Martial just scores so many goals whenever I use him. So I would actually say Martial is a little bit more clinical in front of goal than Hyung Min Son. Despite the fact that the stats say the opposite. So I'm going to tell you now who I would rather have and it is going to be Martial. I just believe he's such a complete forward. He really does have no weaknesses. He can do everything on the game. He'll get you goals. He will get you assists as well. And he's got great link ability. So yeah, for me, I would rather have Anthony Martial. But as always, you guys will be able to vote and tell me who you would rather have in your team. So we are now moving on to our final comment now. And it comes from Iron Beastie who says, Would you rather have Antoine Griezmann or Paolo Dybala? Now, I really like this matchup. I think there's a very good debate to be had. So we're going to do that. So we're going to start off with the 89 rated Antoine Griezmann. So what does Antoine Griezmann bring to the table? What are some of his biggest strengths in comparison to Paolo Dybala? Now I think his biggest strength that he has over Dybala is his finishing. I think he's more clinical in front of goal and yeah I think overall he will just score you more goals. So I do think Antoine Griezmann is definitely better in the air having very good jumping and pretty good heading accuracy. So he can score all kinds of goals, which I don't think he can say about Paolo Dybala. I do also think his link ability is definitely in his favour. Being from France, I've said it a number of times, I do think the French national team has got the best players to pick from in terms of creating great hybrids and very good squad builders. So we are moving on to some of Griezmann's weaknesses. So the main weakness for me that I would say is that he's not going to create you as many chances. I do believe he can do that role of creating opportunities for other players but I do believe Paolo Dybala does it a lot better so that is the biggest weakness in Griezmann's game so we're moving on to the 89 rated Paolo Dybala now what is Dybala's biggest strength compared to Antoine Griezmann now for me Dybala is one of the best dribblers on this game he's so dynamic with his dribbling it really is difficult to get the ball off him he has also got very good long shots in this game outside the box this guy can score a whole wide range of goals, his finesse shots are very overpowered, so yeah, I'd say his long shots and his dribbling are some of his biggest assets, and also he is going to create you a few more opportunities in-game over the long run, in my opinion. So, I'm now going to summarise for you guys and tell you who I would rather have in my ultimate team. Now, this one is a very difficult one, because I think they both bring certain strengths. Now, for me, if you're looking to have a striker in your team, I would pick Antoine Griezmann. If he was looking for a cam, I would probably go with Paolo Dybala. But overall, if I could only have one player in my squad, I would go with Antoine Griezmann. I believe he offers you a lot more goals, and I do think he can create chances for other players around him. So that's who I would rather have. But as always, you guys will be able to vote in the poll and tell me which player you would rather have in your ultimate team. 
So that is just going to be about it from me for today, guys. So if you did enjoy this new series, if you want to show us some support by dropping a like on it, I would you to appreciate that. If you are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. If you guys want to put in the comments below some more matchups that you would like to see on this new series, feel free to do that as well, guys. But that is just going to be about it from me for today. So I will catch you in the next video.